I got this NBC lady coming through this D here of the hardball. I'll show you. This is an interesting little pitch they did here. So why is President-elect Trump saying an election he won was rigged? And he says, Howie Jackson joins me from Trump Tower to give you the comes through the D, you see that? You're only a reporter. You're only a human being with intelligence to answer a normal question. <laughs> they overact the, <laughs> the crap out of this. And that's why I just felt the, the need to do a video. What they say is so stupid, and that's why people might watch some of the videos I do, especially this one with Assange, and how he gets a phone call and the audience laughs and they think that's funny. That is all planned. The laughter here is planned. The little joking, all this is is part of the script. She's reading on the teleprompter. He's reading on the teleprompter. Light laughter leading into this, smiling. It's If you think no, you need to wake the fuck up. This is your reality. Every last little detail is talked about right before they go live. They really have to make, because what they're saying is so ridiculous, they have to lighten it up with comedy. We've I've seen you've seen me talk about this and everything, whether it be NASA bullshitting about Mars expeditions, they make it more about heartstrings and memory and laughter and jokes and, and to confuse you and and break the ice because your subconscious might be a little bit tense because it's detecting falsehoods. These people are spitting falsehoods all the time. And they just use deflecting techniques to get you to think they're not spitting falsehoods. It's so it's so plastic to me. I don't even understand why people don't see this. But so, here we have them using their demeanor and words to confuse people. But what they say is complete bullshit. Much like what Assange said literally makes no sense but anyway how on earth does this get justified what is he trying to do first of all the idea of millions who are these people that i guess he means illegal people people here undocumented you think millions yeah. or hundreds of thousands of people walked into a new hampshire voting station mexicans <laughs> see he almost has a he geeks out right there you like that i don't even know that might have not been part of the script. He just might have well gotten a little bit too worked up. Cause she's she's all right looking, you know. He's a little bit past his prime, but he's. They were. He told. They told him that he was gonna get the flirt with her, you know, and do this little like comedy bit. So he got a little overexcited, and he almost like lost his dentures there. <laughs> Something I don't know what that was. Did you guys see that? It's crazy. They even they even they didn't like cut this. I would just think that they would cut something like that because this is just I can't believe that news outlets actually come out and say there's fake news when what the hell is this? This is a joke. This is a joke. I don't watch comedy. None of the sh none of the stuff that they people consider to be comedy, I don't think is funny. This is the comedy. This is the comedy. The news station's telling you fake news. And they can't even hold it together here. This is how is this professional? This guy's like spitting up on his like his suit here. Are these people that I guess he means illegal people, people here undocumented. You think millions yeah. or hundreds of thousands of people walked into a New Hampshire voting station, Mexicans who just got here and they voted, nobody noticed? It's crazy. Well, the idea of millions, who are these people that I guess he means you think millions yeah. or hundreds of thousands? She's like she just blew like fucking three lines of coke off the screen. Oh my god, dude. They really went crazy with this little bit. He knew that he was, he, I don't know, he think he just got overexcited. What are you trying to do? First of all, the idea of millions, who are these people that I guess he means illegal people, people here undocumented. You think millions yeah. or hundreds of thousands of people walked into a New Hampshire voting station, Mexicans, who just got here? It's crazy. Right. So, <clears throat> so let me answer this. <laughs> he could barely put that on out. 
He's like coughing and jeez, Haley Jackson. She's all right. Let's see what she says, dude. She's such an idiot if she thinks that like people aren't going to See, they broke the ice with that little thing. Now listen to what what she says is even more ridiculous. And that's what they know, but they have to break their ice with that thing and have to have this smirky thing cuz what they say is just so stupid being uh which is to say that that question was posed to the president-elect's transition team of the, exactly this right when he says when the, the president-elect tweets about millions of people who voted illegally what does that mean as one uh person who is is very involved in sort of voter fraud detection efforts that i mean today are these wait she's involved as one uh person who is is very involved in sort of voter fraud detection efforts that i mean today are these um wait is that you you're talking about why she like speed up at the end there that's like some that's like a technique people do when they want to just keep going on something she's looking where at a script right so <clears throat> so let me get <laughs> looking just getting those lines ready that that coke line hit her she's like all right Shit, I'm pretty fucked up right now. I'm gonna look at that screen real quick because he almost spit up his dentures. I gotta say this right. What am I saying again? I almost fucking forgot. It's your voting station, Mexicans, who just got here and they voted, nobody noticed. It's crazy. Right. So <laughs> she almost lost her cool there. She was like, what the fuck is he trying to do? Is he hitting on me? During this news conference? <clears throat> so let me answer this, Chris, as a human being, uh, which is to say... Oh, a human being as opposed to what? Shut the fuck up, you plastic bitch. That, that the question was posed to the president-elect's transition team of exactly this, right? When okay, what? He says when the president-elect tweets about millions of people who voted illegally, what does that mean? As one uh, person who is, is very involved in sort of voter fraud detection efforts that I mean today, are these imaginary voters? Who are these people? Quite possibly, they could be imaginary voters. I mean, that, <laughs> to think that is impossible, they're trying to make you believe that, like, Russia influenced Trump selection. So I can't, what, they, she doesn't have the access to that too? It's just Trump's uh, campaign team that knows about it? Give me a fucking break. They could just easily add a million votes all throughout these states. They don't have to go from Mexico to New Hampshire to vote illegally. They're probably just dead people that are voting in other states. I mean... It's not really that big of a claim. I don't know why the mainstream media just wants to play it down. Transition team sent to NBC a 45 page document that included citations that they said would back up this evidence of voter fraud. Our NBC News political unit did an analysis of those documents that plus research from independent fact checkers essentially debunked those claims. So, so independent fact checkers are going to bring this shit up again. Like this is the type of shit that I don't even understand. Why, who are these credible, why are they credible? Why is this not fake news? Independent researchers, why is this term being used in a lot of different platforms to describe a lot of different things now? I don't really care about independent researchers. I'm an independent researcher. I'm researching how shitty the fucking media is and how they lie and twist narratives and they're continuously pushing agendas on a nonstop basis. So is me as an independent uh, investigator, I should, I should have a say in some of these things, right? How do you, how do I start becoming part of these decision making processes as an independent investigator? And like, what these people just investigate this shit independently for no money, <laughs> like. <laughs> Come the fuck on, people. Like, this is so sad that this is the type of shit that they can run on air. And, and, and people are just like, oh, oh, so their Trump's team sent a paper and they had a they had citations. And then they had a group and independent researchers basically debunked that. Well, let's go over what the papers were and, and what they debunked. Otherwise, I don't really want to hear about this and have you guys like laugh about it.
as this isn't really anything, let's see the research and let's name who these independent researchers are. Let's put them out there so, you know, they can be criticized and we can see their research and see the depth of the research. I don't really care about this lady, like, telling me about it. Who cares? The bottom line is we are back to the question of where we started, which is where is the evidence? Where's the beef, if you will? This was a very similar issue to what came up when Donald Trump claimed during the general election that the system is rigged. And even during the primaries, he made that claim. And he is relying now, it appears, on some of the same evidence, uh, again, evidence largely debunked, that he used then. Is this coming from Alex Jones? Oh, my gosh. So I can tell you this, that at least one of the claims appeared on InfoWars, which is the Alex Jones conspiracy theory or website that is often pushing these conspiracy theories. Uh, it then, I believe, got linked to Drudge. So it is possible that that is where the president-elect picked up on some of this. We know that he likes to go online. And they read love. His, uh, See, there. this is what I mean by the, this fake news story. We keep going with this Pizzagate so, you know, shit. All these delusional people. It's going to happen anyway, like the ball is in motion. They're just making it, when they clamp down, they're just going to make it... Shut the fuck up. It's all building. They need to, they, these, they work in reverse. They, they think of an end product and they work in reverse. So they knew that they wanted no free speech. They knew the internet was going to be a problem. They let it go. They let all the, the hype build and all the 9-11 conspiracies and all this shit tumble around and uh sandy hook and this and that like they knew that they were just gonna shut it all down all at once and that we're what we're seeing is like the beginnings of that and they're they're gonna just pull the plug but they build up these stories and they put things in the media so that when they do it there's still controversy. There's still people who will look into the stuff and be like, what the hell's going on? But then at the same time, you'll get them pulling the plug completely. And when they pull the plug completely, there'll be no chance to rebut in an organized fashion on the internet, <clears throat> at least if they clamp down on censorship and all that. So everybody in everybody's mind, all they'll be left with were these fantasies of this like a little bit too good to be true, elaborate ring of pedophilia associated with pizza. It's just they're going to keep they'll even probably keep dangling evidence throughout the year on this one just to keep people involved. <laughs> the fact of the matter is like. People have been bringing up mounds of evidence for plenty of different things over the years, and the general public just is delirious to it. So, yeah, just keep going on this Pizzagate thing and see what it does, because they're already running articles on it hurting the dude's business, and their mainstream media is going full on with this fake news shit, and Trump's bringing it up, because Trump is a piece of shit and insider working with them because... He is now working with the media. Why would he care anything about chirping about the, the election? He won the election. And they keep bringing up the fact that she won the popular vote. Who, who cares? That's all just spinning more divide and conquer bullshit because like the rioting didn't get as big as they hoped it to or something. I have no idea. So they, they enacted this recall, fake recall, because they all know that Trump was selected. If you follow my channel and understand the my thinking behind this, it's all fucking fake. It's all scripted. He's feeding this media shit, voter fraud, no evidence. They're, they're fueling this fake news phenomenon on purpose because they want to clamp down on censorship. It, the censorship's going to work for his presidency. He's already spitting this bullshit like... Uh, I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing about ISIS. It's all everybody's going to be in the dark because that's how I operate. And people are going to be, I don't know, completely clueless to think that that's already not going on. You are not getting information on even like 1% of what is going on. You're fed completely 100% disinfo all the time, 100% of the time. Why would they give you any shred of truth? 
you you have got, you just had a self important issue. You got to realize that you are not valuable in the eyes of these people controlling you. They could give two shits about you. Assange needs to make a statement. Even just saying the Podesta emails, has he even said that since he's released the emails? I have not yet heard him say that. And that's why I think there's somebody holding back his response because they're playing the field right now. They are analyzing everybody's response to this. And apparently, <clears throat> they push... They push buttons because some people, whereas two months ago, the same type of connections would have mean this is a fake story. They like flip the script on everybody. They're doing reverse psychology and everybody's whole like ability to discern is just getting destroyed right now. If you're not, again, if you're using your emotions to decide on things, you're going to be fucked. They're going to pull the plug and everything that's going on now is going to be remembered as just the silly hysteria leading up to the point when everyone just decided that, you know, these, these main sources of news are the only news, which is a complete joke.